Hello, welcome to Bedroom Builds at the From Python to Rust series, episode 37, Vector Graphics Processing, coming from the previous episode where we spoke about Rust Graphics Processing. For Vector Graphics Processing, the go-to library is simply Cairo, and for Python, we would have a wrapper around this called the Py Cairo. And for Rust, there is the Cairo RS uh, crate. The Cairo library itself is uh, C based. So both those cases will have the Cairo library as a dependency on your system. For Rust, there is a really interesting crate, however, called the ReSVG. This has no non-Rust dependencies whatsoever. Everything is written in pure Rust and mostly safe Rust code. That's a very interesting project to watch. The example, however, I will be using is the Python Cairo example code implemented again in Cairo Rust, which as you will see shortly will not be too different. What we'll be drawing is a box and this shape. Let's hop over into uh, the code. In Python, we will have to import the Cairo library, of course. In Rust, I decided to always use fully qualified uh, namespaces, so Cairo context will be used like this here, and therefore I have no imports. The draw function, the first one defined, will uh, be drawing uh, the curve that we've seen with uh, the two lines. This is also implemented here on the right in Rust, and you can see there's not too much different. We define the values for the x, y, x1, y1 variables in the respective syntax format of the programming languages. We do the same for the next uh, variables. And then we see that the code is basically the same, the only difference being that on the left we have no semicolon and the numbers are integers because Python doesn't care too much. In Rust, we will have to use the dot to denote that this is a float, or maybe be specific using F64, for example. And we will have to use the semicolon on the right. But otherwise, you see that this is a perfect map of the Cairo library. What is different is error handling. So we count on the fact that we have the exception handler, the global one for Python, and this will give us a traceback. There's nothing happening here on the left. In Rust, however, the stroke function, for example, or also used down here, will use the question mark operator to return an error if it happens. This is why in Rust we have a defined result type and there's nothing here on the Python side. So in case of success, we return uh, the unit type or an error if the stroke method fails. Below is uh, the code defined to draw a small box. Let's scroll down a bit. So here we can see the draw box in Rust and down here in uh, Python. Again, code lines map out, same thing. The fill can fail, therefore we have the error handling and we return the unit type in case of success. Let's go down to the main uh, function. On the left, on the Python side, it's a bit easier to read because in Rust I decided to use the fully qualified paths everywhere. That makes it a bit harder to read. Let's go over the Python code quickly. We use the SVG surface first to create a SVG file. So after you have drawn on this surface, this will be a vector graphic that you can continue to use in another vector graphics program. We create a context from our surface, then we draw our box and afterwards we draw our curves. Once uh, this was done, the context handler writes out to, to the file that we've defined here. And then uh, later down, we create an image surface that is just uh, raster graphics uh, data. As we've seen in the last episode, you get to have then an image buffer of uh, pixels. We use the same uh, size, we create a context from it, and then again, we call the same uh, functions. We draw the box first, then our lines. But now we have to specifically tell this surface in which format it will be written to disk. So in our case, we use the write to PNG function that Cairo provides and the output file name. On the right side, the code is more or less equivalent. 
what's happening is we create our PNG output file name. We have now our image surface. So this will be an image buffer that you can uh, draw to. Here we get, create a new path from a static string called output SVG. Below the path name definition, we will directly use this path name in the SVG surfaces constructor, giving the dimensions and we pass the file name in. And below that we create a context for each surface. So the image surfaces context and our SVG surfaces context. And having those contexts as we have on the Python side, we would uh, draw our box, draw our curve onto the respective context. At the very end of the code, as we do in uh, Python over here, we have to write out to a PNG. In Rust, you have to handle resources yourself. So what's happening here is we have to use the standard FS file constructor. In, the, in our case, we use uh, the create constructor with our file name. Once we have our file instance, we can pass this using a mutable reference to file and then write to PNG in our Cairo wrapper for Rust is happy. We get to write out the image surface. As you can see, the Cairo wrappers for Python and Rust are virtually the same. So if you already used Cairo in your Python projects and you wanna transition them over to Rust, this will be a very easy process. Same is actually true the other way around. If you have Rust code that you need to run in Python that uses the Cairo library, it will be very straightforward and easy to do. Thanks uh, for watching. Coming up next on the From Python to Rust series will be plotting.